Welcome to the Pop MTV Sports Skateboarding. This time we're doing the rest of that fucking lifestyle mode. I had a few drinks. I'm not too happy about the fact I had a few drinks before I started recording this, but I don't give a shit. We've done Dodd Skate Park and all that. We're now going to Varko's Ver, and yes, we've now increased by 0.5 for our score beforehand. Before, we were just doing 6.0 the entire time. And these maps, they do keep getting worse. They get worse in how they fucking work, in fact. But Walker's Vert is really basic and easy. It's a giant vert ramp area. It's a giant half-pipe area. And that's it. But there's a few spots to grind about. There's a few benches and actual grinds and such. But, um... Yeah, it, it's just mainly this giant vert. So, use the giant vert. And as you can see, like, I'm just doing the same shit as always. Though I am having to also fight with the stupidest fuck balancing system, which is still fucking to me to this day. Can I also add on the fact that there are still, like, auto modes to go through? Like, this is the main long mode, but there are, like, auto modes that have a lot more shit with them, and we have to go through all of them. And... Ser seriously, I just really don't like dealing with this game. Like, yeah, look at the fucking score I'm getting. I'm getting big points, baby, but... It's it's just not fucking fun to do. Everything about how this feels is off, and also, I haven't even mentioned the fucking camera yet. I bet you that there are people watching this, who have been watching the first part at least, and we're just looking at this fucking camera and we're getting sick. That they were just feeling very nauseated by this fucking camera. I have actually gotten comments before, as I was trying to do this recording shit and all, people who have played this game before and have actually admitted that the can was so nauseating they had to fucking turn it off they could they had to turn off the fucking camera effects and shit here to not get nauseated by the angling this shit's doing it is so bad i don't even know what saying it is to turn this shit off but i'm keeping it on anyway because this is the fucking game 16 startup and outfit 12 is next but yeah this is the fucking look of the game with its camera. It loves to just veer about and just be nauseating as hell. And we've gotten this camera before, this camera issue of this fucking shit, from a gravity game to bike. This fucking camera issue existed on that game too, where it's just nauseating to look at. And also this outfit's pretty nice. We're not gonna see it for too long. This board's okay, I guess. And yeah, now we're collecting more fucking photo icons in, sil in Silverside. Six photos now instead of four, however. And still 6.5. It's from the Sunday sports section or whatever. National paper. We are doing the national stuff now. And we'll eventually get into the international, which will be the end point, essentially. Like the last few levels and such. But yeah, six photos, 6.5. This map fucking sucks. You see this bowl here? This is one of the worst bowls in the game. It is buggy, it is weird in how it's made. You can easily end up not even going around it correctly and just end up bailing because of that. It doesn't loop around right. And the worst part is that one of these ramps has a real weird collision thing to it where you somewhat get stuck on the way up. I'm not joking about that. You will see it when we get to it. Because I will be using that fucking ramp area in order to get our fucking points, because... Sure, I can use some grinds. Sure, I could use these other ramps. I could use this small ramp area here. But the biggest issue with that little bit is that if you go a bit too much to the open area, you know, the fucking edges and such, the ramp, the ramp starts working. It just kind of just stops bothering to work, and you just don't even get on the thing. You just bail anyway or what have you. Now, you see this ramp over here is fine. This ramp, you can somewhat see me just bumping about on the way up. 
this ramp here is fucked. And what's worse is that because of that, it takes a little bit longer for me to just realize that's happening and being able to react appropriately for my tricks and such. I end up having to need to delay just a little bit every time. No other ramp does this, just this one. And because of that, it makes it incredibly fucking obnoxious to time my shit because I will usually have this happen where I press the button just a bit too early because of that bullshit going on. That shit has happened more times than I would like to admit. And it's because this fucking ramp does not work right. The ramps in this game, I swear to god, there are other levels in this game where the ramp is much like that one. Where it doesn't work right, it bumps you about on the way up. It shouldn't be fucking doing that. It should be like the other ramps, where it's like a smooth way up, but for some fucking reason, these goddamn map, these ramps, they just... Ah, oh god, I fucking hate it, man. And there's the fact the ramps don't even work that well. The bowls do not work that well. If they start, like, turn around, you can see how fucking angular the turns are with the thing. How the actual curves are just really fucking, like, angles and such. The game can't handle that either, so usually what would happen is you don't even wrap around the fucking ramp. Instead, it just cuts you off at a random spot and you'll end up going into the middle of the bowl, into a fucking floor, whatever, and you will end up bailing. With no fucking reason to it at all. Chapman, Logan, after 13 and next. But yeah, you will end up getting fucked that way. Because the bowl, the whole lock-on thing of the bowl, doesn't work. It just eventually doesn't even lock on correctly and you will end up just fly into the middle of the bowl, or outside the bowl, what have you, it's out of your control, and that score of yours, that whole no bail thing you were doing just then, it's out the fucking window. It's just, it's so shit. It's so fucking shit. Uh, now we're going into Central Park. 6.5 again. These scores are so dumb. They could have had this be like a five beforehand to have it be like a gradual increase. Instead, you have this really dumb idea of having half the fucking maps be a six and then just have a good amount of it be 6.5 before you actually increase it to like a seven and such when you're on like the last five maps of the game. I, I don't get why they're having the progression, the difficulty of the score thing be like that. Because eventually we'll get to 7.5, that's at the near end of the fucking thing. But the progression of it is so slow and dumb and stuttery. By the way, like I said beforehand, there's no gap checklist thing really, so I'm not dealing with the gaps. But there are some somewhat uniquely named gaps in this game. Only a few maps have that. It's not worth it. It's really not. And the thing is, most of those gaps only appear in a mode where tricks do not matter. Where score does not matter. Where gaps don't fucking matter. The gap names and such will not show up in that mode for those maps. So... So why the fuck... I just don't get it. I, I just don't fucking get it. And the thing is, you will barely really use these gaps for anything useful in this game. They're not that rewarding, because you can get much more rewarding out of just doing this. Just doing this. This is what the fucking competition really wants from you the entire time. I've tested it out, by the way. Because I've played this for a lot longer than I did from part one. And I can confirm to you right now, if all I did was just the grabs and the flips on vert, I would at least be getting a 9.1 or full out 10 out of 10 every fucking time. Every fucking time. No repeat tricks. 
I do all different grabs and flips. I always spin on it. I always try to do like a 180 and then the fucking grabs for the really high scoring ones. Which is like the Christ Airs and the Benny Hannas and such. If I just do that the entire time and never bail, I will always get a 9.1 or a 10 out of 10. Every fucking time. Grinds don't matter. Manuals don't matter. Doing tricks on the fucking floor, doing street tricks instead of vert tricks, don't fucking matter. Chapman Duck in Alpha 14 are next. Nothing else matters except the vert stuff of flips and grabs and spins. And maybe a bit of comboing. Very small combos of just a 180, like a two trick combo essentially, of a 180 spin and then the grab. That's it. Or doing two trip, do flip tricks at once. You do that shit, that's enough. Also, this is supposed to be like a branded t-shirt, by the way. It has just the THQ logo on it. There's nothing brand- there's nothing branded about that. What the fuck? <sighs> Exhibition Park is next. 6.5 again. We will eventually get away from 6.5. Also, I don't know who the fuck these women are. They are always the same pictures. Sure, the text is different, and literally, they will be the same pictures every time you redo this mode, in the same text and all. It, but I don't know who they are. I don't get why they're here. I don't get why the fuck we get told by them only. It's only women. Despite most of the skaters in this mode being males to slut from, and also that ramp, that ramp's fucked. And you wanna know why it's fucked? Because it is two ramps slapped together. They're the same ramp, they're slapped together, they're supposed to be connected. The thing is, if you hit the middle, you sort of hit the line spot of the middle. And the thing is, this game is so poorly programmed, it doesn't even recognize that you're hitting two ramps. It only recognizes that you're hitting a fucking gap in the middle of the ramps. A non-existent gap. A fucking line. And because of that, you can end up pretty much landing on the fucking line and getting the bail that way. This game is so poorly fucking made, you can even see the fact that the texturing is so fucked and the fact that some of these ramps, you look at the top of them, it's mainly just like one square of a texture and the rest of it on the other side is stretched. Look at that. Like, the fucking spot I'm skating up on, this spot here, the texture's fine. And you look at the very left there, and it's just a stretch texture of the one next to it. The same thing on that ramp there and all. They didn't give a shit, did they? They did not give a fucking shit when they were making the design of this game. Because there's all this shit everywhere, and it's just... Nothing works right in this fucking game. Nothing looks that good. And because of how this fucking championship thing works, also Chapman, Oak Leaf, and F15 are next. Because of how this shit works, you're mainly using the ramps the entire time. You are almost never going to use the grinds or using any kind of flatland tricks or what have you in this game. You are even discouraged from exploring the level because not only do you have that timer going on, but if you don't do exactly what this game requires you to do with the tricks and the score and shit, the game will fuck you for that. And if you're going out there exploring the place, you get penalized for that. You get fucked over for that. The only time you're allowed to actually explore is for these photo icon things. And by the way, Disused Train Station is another fucking level where it just sucks. This is where the really bad tr maps come in, and this map is a real fucking bastard. To start off, getting these photo icons sucks. It's a big fucking area. And the problem is, all these photo icons are spread all over the place. You have three minutes, sure, but you have to spend that time getting the fucking, you know, score needed. Because, yeah, the photos... You know, this was the easy part. The score is the hard part. Getting these photos is actually a difficult thing to do. 
because now the game really wants you to use those grinds and such to get these, and they do not work right. Hell, that photo there, you're supposed to transfer for that, but it's a very specific transfer that requires you to be able to make it by a certain distance and height. It has to be really specific, and it doesn't work that well either. But not only that, these ramps here, I can't use them. You wanna know why? You wanna know why I can only use the ramps out here? Have you noticed it yet? Have you noticed why this spot is the best spot I can use for what I'm doing here? Despite this shit happening, despite these ramps not even fucking working here either, because you could end up just getting fucked over from the game, like land you on a train or land you on the grass there or just land you fucking anywhere. Let me tell you why. There's no roof. There's no roof. That's the only reason why this is the best spot to do this trick score bullshit in. There's no fucking roof. You can end up going so high, you will end up bailing on the fucking roof. The roofs are too fucking low in this fucking map for you to even utilize the fucking ramps for most of the level here. Most of this level's ramps are useless because you can't even stay on them for long before you end up hitting the fucking roof and bailing from it. Why? Why is this map made like this? I have a hard time thinking there was any playtest for this fucking game. But then again, Gravity Games Bike had more fucking playtesters than they had game developers and designers and shit. So, you know, even if this game had testers, I don't think this game would have been that well made. Oh, by the way, that just happened. You wanna know why it just fucking happened? If you're lucky in a weird way, and the floor is like a little bit slanted like this one is, if you land on your side, either your back side or your front side, that somewhat counts as a landing. Also, arcade team and outfit 16 are next. Even though you jumped off the fucking ramp, and even though you are landing on your back, or your fucking face? If the floor is slanted a little bit, as long as you're not laying on, like, your forward or your backward, essentially, like you would for a vert ramp, you will just ride that off. You'll be fine. That should not be happening. It happens, though. And it doesn't make any fucking sense how it's happening, outside of what I just told you. Oh, but now we're in Smith's side, and now we can finally go into the international stuff, which means we now have to get a 7. A 7.0. We're now done with all of the fucking national stuff. So this is it. This is the last few tracks in the game, the last few maps. At least, let me count... One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. And this place here sucks too. This area here, this bowl, is your best spot. However, don't use this side because it has this fucking worthless gap here. And if you think that's a transfer, it's not. It's just a random gap in this bowl. Use this side. Even though this wall can be very glitchy as well, even though this fucking spot has barely a use for any grind for you. Because you're probably thinking, what about the rest of the area? What about the area, like, in the back and such? What about the area over there in front of the fucking bowl? If you use the area, like, the ramps outside this bowl in this area, a lot of them just don't work and end up just bugging you about and just... You can end up just, like, bailing on the fucking ramps. You can end up fucking, like, bumping out of the fucking ramps. You can end up just...
the thing is, this is actually one of the harder maps too. Because unless you're doing what I'm doing right now, without bailing, you will end up getting low scores. This is a somewhat big area. There's a lot to explore in. See no transfer. But, if you explore this place, you're gonna end up with under seven. If you try to, you know, bring some variety with some grinds, and maybe do some flatland or what have you, use the other ramps and such out here, just try out some different stuff, you will fail. Use this bowl, and you won't fail. Even though I just managed to make it through. Consolidated four cubes and effort six to seventeen next. But yeah, if you do not use this bowl, you're not gonna win. You're just not. I've tried any place else and such. The game doesn't even give me the seven I need. Exploring in this game, in this mode, is heavily discouraged. If you don't find the perfect spot to do your fucking vert ramp tricks in and get your scores and tricks and such out of the way from there, if you don't do that, you are not gonna win. You're just never gonna fucking win. And now we're in the Pine Grove Indoor Arena. We have to get a 7 here or else the judges will laugh us out of the international competition. Bitch, we have gone this far ahead. We're not getting laughed at. So what can I say about this fucking map? Well, I use this vert here, but I would honestly recommend you to use a bowl up on the very corner of this fucking map. Like, right ahead of me, in fact. If you instead go past here and go that way, you will find there is a bowl that way, Use that bowl. It's a big bowl. And you'll be able to do all of this shit. As well as have a nice spot to grind about and such. You won't have to do what I'm doing here. But then again. Because of the fact that all it cares about is just spins. No bails. You're grabbing. Maybe some flip trick stuff and be twists and such. Doing like small combos of your 180 spins before doing the grab and such. Because of that, because this game like prioritizes that over anything else, you're probably just gonna want to just use these and just do this instead the entire time. No grinds, by the way. I haven't figured out yet. You know, I haven't figured out the entirety of the fact that the game doesn't care about grinds yet. But yeah, this is the entire thing. So just know that, okay? Just note on the fact that this game is so shit that once you do figure out how its mode works, it actually makes it worse. Yeah, see, there's the bowl. I could be using this bowl instead of these ramps here. See, there it is. I could have been using this instead. Use this instead. It is far fucking better. It looks nicer too. But again, grinds don't fucking matter. I could keep doing nose grinds and tail grinds and fucking blunt slides and such. Dark slides and all. And the game would not give a shit. It would not give a shit. Consolidated cube and alpha 18 are next. It just wouldn't care. Because all it cares about is other things. Grinds do not matter in this game. This is a very nice outfit, by the way. XYZ clothing got good game going on with their clothing line. Right, what the fuck's next? The T people are knocking. Hoffman's Park is next. We have to get the absolute highest of photo icons, eight. 
alongside seven fucking score. I just... I'm just looking around. Oh, look, House of the Dead remake is coming out. I'm glad House of the Dead is still being loved after, like, a decade. You know, it had, like, a typing game and such. I could be playing that instead, you know? I think House of the Dead also had, like, horrible fucking, um, voice acting in it. Like, godlike Resident Evil quality voice acting. I could be having some stupidity and some fun little gameplay and such here. I could be having something rather than playing this game where I'm just starting off just grabbing some photos of the same guy's face by the way. It's just this random dude's face on all these photo icons. It is never the guy we're actually playing as. Even if you're a female, the photo is always a male's face. So, it's just a generic graphic. It, it, literally, it literally has nothing to do with your skater. Oh, by the way, there are eight we have to collect. Guess how many there actually are in this map? I've given you time to guess. It's ten. There's one, and up there is two. That's the remain I'm not getting. There are ten photos maximum in this map, and it wants us to get eight. Luckily, this map is fairly small. And luckily, this mode has some fairly compact areas. It's mainly like competition areas for the most part, but it does have some compact ones. Unfortunately, it also has some really fucking big ones. And the really fucking big ones suck. I just... I kind of want to, like, you know, reiterate a question that Insetic47 has said of why the fuck do these shitty action sports games have such big maps? You will see some of the stupidly big maps that exist in this game later on. In fact, in the next part, in fact. But you kind of already got that with the fucking train station and such. You kind of already got a bit of a feel for that. Also, I love how we're getting Sobe and, you know, fucking... Um, porn star, like a board brand, you know, we're getting these clothing lines and all of that. We're getting all sorts of sponsors showing up here. But the biggest sponsor is MTV. Like, I'm pretty sure at this point, MTV was, like, big fucking name at this point. Like, they were really growing like hell. Like, they were the music channel. One of the biggest music channels on television of all fucking time. You know, when you don't count Australia and, you know, rage into the mix. But, MTV was America's biggest music channel. And they were all about their music. But they were also, you know, dabbling in, you know, Beavis and Butthead and Jackass and such. And hey, there was some extreme sports stuff going on as well, like right here. They tried going in for all sorts of stuff. They tried going in for video games. You want to know another game that this publisher has actually given out? By the way, Dark Black, Dark Black, and Outfit 19 are next. Dark Black is literally just the developer's board. So, there you go. But you want to know what else these guys published? Because I've already done a stream play on it. Like, I've already done essentially a stream play on it. I've done it in photo gamers and such. Slamscape. They published Slamscape. And that was a really fucking hard game that was difficult to even understand. And also, this is the developer's shirt there as well. See, the developer's board.
Next up is the the map before the final one, Pine Grove Vert. We beat this, and we end up going into the MTV Stadium. They're the big name. Obviously, the final level would have to be about MTV. But yeah, Pine Grove Vert, it is another just square area with a vert area. You just use the vert. It's a fucking nice vert area, to be honest. I like how this vert area looks. I like the lighting for it. It looks pretty neat. It's still just like this giant vert ramp area in like a box. Believe it or not though, this is a unique level. In fact, this is a version of the level that essentially there is more of, but you only get to see more of in a different mode. On free play, in fact. From fucking free skate mode. In this mode, however, it is just this box and this vert. But there is so, so much more area here that is locked away in this version of the fucking map. Because this map, Pine Grove Vert, is one of, if not the biggest fucking map in the game. And what we're getting right now what this mode, Lifestyle, has given us for this map is it's only given us this small section of it for just this mode. You can't even play this version in Free Skate or anywhere. It only exists in Lifestyle mode. Anywhere else, you get the full map, and the full map is too big for its own good. And again, we will see that version of this map in the next part of the fucking Let's Play. But right now, I've been the vert, you know, I've gotten all the shit done, I've gotten my scores. You know, I just barely made it. Got neighborhood neighborhood, and I got outfit 20. But now, now it's time for us to go to MTV Stadium. This is the final level of Lifestyle Mode. And for this mode, it is one of the worst fucking maps for this mode. Because there's barely anything to work with. By the way, it's just a THQ outfit. Alpha 20 is just THQ. So let's see what they have to say about MTV Stadium. This is it, the international final at MTV's own skateboarding stadium. Win this and you've done it. You've really hit the big time. You're looking pretty good, but it's not over yet. Score 7.5 and you could be the international champ. There you go. The final score, 7.5, only in MTV stadium. The spread out of these scores has been fucking stupid. And this ramp here that you're starting off with, between this and this ramp in the middle, is the best spot in the game. This is not that big an area, but the rest of it happens to, you know, be solo ramps, or happens to be, like, spots where you can grind or do some fucking, you know, some other shit, other than vert stuff. The biggest issue is... There's nothing to work with, and if you actually explore around... Everything about how this is designed is a fucking mess. There's just like random, like, bits of grind spots and such. There's random kickers and all. Some of these ramps aren't that well designed and their placement and such. Neither are the fucking rails. It's just kind of messed in its design. It doesn't have much of a good design to it, honestly. 
Like, this little bit here, over to my right, doesn't make any fucking sense in how it's designed. It's just a fucking mess of kickers and floors and just ramps and... It's stupid. And the thing is... I failed this one. Oh yeah, I beat the high score. The high score has always been, for every map in this fucking game, 200,000. In fact, the high score mode is just beating that score there. That's it. And I beat the fucking score. I got big combos. I did some big stuff. But you saw that I went and I explored. I looked around. I wanted to see the rest of the map for once. This is the last area. I wanted to see what the last area looked like. Guess what? I fucking lost. And guess what? I lost again and again. Because getting the score here is such a bastard until I fucking realized that all this cared about was spins, grabs, and flips. It did not give a shit about grinds. It did not give a shit about anything else except not bailing and just using this back and forth map with the fucking ramps in order to get some flips and some grabs. And the thing is, that problem I mentioned beforehand with the whole, you know, jitteriness going up a fucking ramp, it exists here with these two ramps. The jitteriness is on these two ramps as well. See? You can kind of see it. It sucks. And the thing is, I feel like I'm not even getting that much air out of these ramps either. Like, yeah, they're big ramps, but at the same time, I feel like I'm just barely getting enough air in order to then land. I've had smaller ramps give me shit tons of air, whereas these ramps just give me enough air to actually be able to get a 720 spin or a 900. I don't get it. I don't get why these ramps are just so fucked. Why this map is so fucked. This is MTV's big fucking finale for this mode. This is the biggie. This is the big fucking like finisher essentially. Their big map, MTV Stadium. And it sucks. It's glitchy, it's buggy, the design is just complete and utter shit. And I just make it. And guess what I get for being lifestyle mode? Guess what my reward is for beating lifestyle mode? It's not credits, it's not even an ending. You just become a pro skater and you get Lunar Eclipse, Escape, a new level, as well as Outfit 22, a porn star flex board, and Jimmy Sweet Love, as you can see right there. He is one of the secret characters, one of the fake characters, essentially. However, how we play as Jimmy Sweet Love? Well, we never play as the pros or these secret characters in Lifestyle. Lifestyle is the only mode where you get to play as your own, quote unquote, your own skater. And we can continue, by the way. There's a continue button. And we will need to. We'll find out where later on. But yeah, I could just, you know, select anyone else I want. I can still be Jimmy. Just like Jim Bob, I mean. Or I can be anyone else, like Dolph or Alice. Now, as you can see, there's no Jimmy. There's no sweet love. I did get Alpha 22, though. Which, um... Outfit 20? Outfit 22. Yeah, there's outfits missing. And also there's Porn Star Athletic. We will get into the whole outfit thing later on, because that is unlockable, it's gonna suck. Oh, by the way, yes, we just get to redo it all over again. If you do the continue thing, all that means that you just get to go and just either continue where you left off 
or you're just start from the beginning again of a new skater, what have you. You can do it again at the same skater, in fact. It's just shit. But we have to do it. At least one more time as far as I can find. But what about the pros? What about the auto modes? What about Lunar Escape, in fact? Well, we have free play, and guess what's gonna go to free play? Oh, hey, here's a pro. Rob Dyrick. Dyrick, I mean. In fact, hi, Fist Shell is next. In fact, you can find that everyone else has way better stats than anyone else in the fucking lifestyle mode. Brian Howard. Rick Howard. Pretty sure not related, but you know. Keith Hugnagel. Huffnagel. I don't know how to say his last name. Scott Johnston. Josh Callis. Mm hmm. Annie McDonald, there's the namesake, gets a fucking handsome sunglasses or whatever, the texture's a bit weird. Colin McKay. I think I recognize this guy. Jenna Bryan. Gotta get the female in here. Has a dev logo on it. Alan Peterson. Alright. Has a hat as well. Danny Way, I recognize him. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out here know Skateboy and recognize Danny Way. Stevie Williams, well, I have some Tony Hawk fucking rep in this game, you know. Gotta get that fucking money going on. Salvador Barbier. And Jimmy Sweetlove. Who all of the goofy Sega characters have the absolute best stats out of everyone else. Every pro skater is worse than the Sega characters you unlock. And now, we can go and replay all the maps you've already done, as well as the one we've just unlocked, which I should be going to very soon now. There's a lot of maps. Should be after MTV. Yeah, Luna Escape. There it is. And there you go. So, let's check out Luna Escape before I end this part. I know it's a long part. The next part's gonna be long too. I think the part after is gonna be a bit long as well. All these parts are gonna be fairly long. So, Lunar Escape is a low gravity map. It's outside in you know the space area, and it has a few small bits of interesting landmarks to it. One of them happens to be the Black Obelisk figure. You know, that fucking, you know, rectangle. You know, all held the fucking rectangle. And yes, you can grind on it. But as you can see, I have a lot more air. Because there's a bit more low gravity here. So we can make bigger jumps here. It's the only map in the game that's like this. And I think it's fitting. There's a few little craters here that act as bowls. There's a random half pipe over here. It just, it just exists. It's just a random half pipe. There's no real reason or purpose to it. It's just here. It's like, I guess, a crashed UFO here, whatever the fuck that is. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And I mean, there's like a giant jump area over in the middle. Like two of them, actually. And, um... That's it. I'm not joking. That's it. This is a big area. And the majority of it is nothing. In fact... You have seen all of the landmarks. You have seen everything interesting to look at in this map. It is such a boring, nothing map. And when you really look into a lot of the maps in this game, a lot of these maps are too big and have nothing going on for them. 
And these jumps, by the way, these jumps are bullshit. You will never, never have enough spear to take care of this shit normally. Luckily, there's a half pipe. You can use that to gain speed. It's the only way to gain speed. The issue is just gain up here at that point because the lot of spots that will get rid of your speed. Because going up a bank will slow you down. Unfortunately, going down a bank does not speed you up. So yeah, this is our reward for doing the fucking mode at least once. I will eventually come back to lifestyle mode and do it again for female character that time. And I will get something out of doing that. There is more unlockables to get from lifestyle there. But some issues will come from it. In fact, as of this commentary, I just don't know how to unlock everything in this game. As far as I can find, nobody has figured out how to get every unlockable in this game. No one. I don't know why. I just don't know why. If you know how to get every unlockable in this game, please, please, put it in the fucking comments. But for now, that's it for Lifestyle Mode. Next time, we're doing MTV Hunt. It is the collectible mode, and oh boy, does it fucking suck. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for MTV Hunt.